I think you need it tighter. I think it's. That's so stiff. Everything's just very hard. I'm like Chung Lee. Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another try on haul. Today I'll be trying on clothes I purchased from a brand called Princess Polly. They're an Australian fashion brand that's pretty popular amongst the millennials and Gen Zs. If you guys are into fashion or you like keeping up to date with the latest fashion trends, I'm sure you guys have come across their Instagram or maybe even TikTok. I'd say the fashion vibes is very Instabaddy and TikTok worthy. And so I jumped on the website, had a quick browse, and I bought a couple pieces that will hopefully up my Instagram fashion game. So in this bag, there are 11 items that I purchased for about like $537.20. So let me just quickly open them up and show you guys what I got. It feels really nice. So the first item I got was this Paris tie-dye midi dress in orange. It was $35.70 because I use a coupon code for 15% off. The material actually feels really nice. It's like soft and silky, very cooling. Doesn't feel cheap at all. Okay, excuse my hair, I didn't really style it, but I thought I would put it down so it looked similar to the model. And I'm wearing the shapewear as well. If you haven't seen that shapewear try and haul, click here. I'm looking at the photo of the model to compare and I just realized I'm so short. Like it's like a like a maxi dress for me and it's like a midi dress for her. It looked crazy. I just changed it into like a a mini dress. Look at me, I'm like a fashion designer. Did you see that? I just like hoisted it up. Oh, too short, too short, too short. This dress is a little bit kind of like in between like a tight dress and a loose dress. It's kind of just like it kind of cinches me in a little bit here, but then it's still kind of loose here. So it, it's, I don't know, it feels a little bit weird. I don't know. It's not like actually loose and it's not super tight. So it's just like an, an in-betweener. The color though, I do like this sort of pattern. I mean, it is tie-dye, but it's almost just like, it's like a sky, you know, like the pinky clouds and the sunset. The only thing is I wish these straps would have like, what do you call it? You can adjust it, you know, like I wish I could just kind of pull it up a little bit. I'd feel more comfortable like that. But yeah, it is a very soft and silky material. So I do like it. Alrighty, we got some pants, some black pants. This style is called Ryan's, Ryan pants? Ryan pants, yes. I got this one because the leg is, it has a little split, a little triangle. And so I thought that was kind of interesting. You know, it's giving me like 90s, 2000 vibes. And the material of this, I mean, it, maybe on camera it looks like leather, but it's, it's not. I think it says it's like smooth vegan leather. Oh gosh, <laughs> I can already see through this. This one is the Weekend Love Top in black. This is definitely like branching out of my comfort zone. It's got like this diagonal sort of cut out shape, but you know, it kind of looked like rock and roll style in the model. She wore it and it looked pretty good, but you know, like now that I've got the piece, it's very thin and it's ribbed, so I don't know. I don't know if you guys are ready to see this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just close it up a bit. Control yourself. Where, where are my pants? Where are my pants? Oh, these pants fit. If anything, they're a little bit loose, actually. Okay, I don't know if this combo works. When you look at me, like the full outfit, there's just like a lot going on and then they're like the two V ankles. Let's just talk about the pants first, okay? So these ones fit me, though like they're like a little bit loose around certain areas. The material kind of like feels like a garbage bag. The lining is like just uncomfortable. It's a little bit rough on the skin. I don't have a problem with the ankle part. It's just more like this, this part. I wish it was like maybe just a little bit tighter around there. So then it wouldn't like wrinkle as much. The pockets kind of like stop here. I feel like if it went deeper, then it wouldn't sort of like gather as much or something. This is all I can fit in. I can only fit my fingers in. That's pretty much it. I'm already hitting the seam. The back 
have pockets but yeah i think it's just a little bit on the loose side around the thighs i might i would have to probably size down okay let's talk about the top for a second there so you can't really wear like a a normal bra with this i'm wearing nipple covers but when i look down i feel like i can i can kind of see them up close you can kind of see like if it's stretched out this ribbed material you can see your skin underneath so you need to wear like a skin tone like nipple cover so it has a string at the bottom and i think you can kind of like adjust how sort of like big you want this slashed part or these cutouts to be and it just ties at the bottom here it's giving me like christina aguilera vibes you know zen is saying the top looks nice it does look nice i just wonder like where can i wear this out i guess i could wear it with like a pair of jeans or something i think i'll keep this one i think i can definitely incorporate it into my wardrobe i definitely feel very cool in this okay we we're getting very spicy with this one it's another top or should I just say it's a long piece of material that you wrap around yourself. So this is the Annalisa Top Beige in Leopard. I was like umming and ahhing about this top because it is, uh, it's very revealing. It's almost just like swimmers, really. I've never worn anything like this, but my friend, Sammy Robinson, she always like wears tops like this. And I always see her Instagram posts and I'm like, God, she's so hot and gorgeous. And I was like, you know what? I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll give it a go. We'll see if I can rock this. I don't know. I don't know how to wear this. I think I need help. Boo. <laughs> Probably have to tuck my shapewear. I think you need it tighter. I think it's good. It feels really loose. It doesn't feel very secure. Is that it? <laughs> oh my God, I'm really scared to move in this. Honestly, I feel like this can just fly off at any minute and I am just exposed. Is this normal to feel this sort of like vulnerable when you wear a top like this? If I made any sudden movements, that's it. The girls are going to be like, hey, we're here to party. And I don't want that. I feel like, you know, the Flintstones, is it Bam Bam, the little baby? That's the vibe I'm getting here. Would you let me wear this outfit? Does... All right, it's just not you. It's not me? Hey, but it could be like spicy me. It's like insta baddy. Or is it just bad? I don't know what to say about this. It just does not feel very secure. I would not feel very comfortable out like this. In saying that, I don't think it's like a bad style. It's just not really what I'm used to. But you know, that's what these try on hauls are about. You know, kind of stepping outside my fashion comfort zone and exploring new sort of designs. I think I'm ready to go clubbing. I think like 18 year old Tina could rock this at, at the clubs in Sydney, but uh, yeah, I'm 30 years old now. I don't need to go to the clubs because fun fact, I already found my man at a club. Isn't that right, Alfred? We've got some denim in the house. I really hope this one works out because this is a play suit. I love my play suits and I feel like you can't really go wrong with denim unless you buy the minus five kilo jeans. Peel one side down and then, and then I'll like yank my meat up. The denim is actually quite like, it's not super thick and it's not super thin. I feel like it's right in the middle. It feels like good quality to be honest. So we'll see. This is an outfit. <laughs> Okay, I'll take my shape wear off. This is tragic. What am I doing? I feel like a, a confused cowboy. There's a lot of buttons. Can you imagine going to the toilet in this? Like with these nails? I wish I had a zip. It's not the play suit's fault. It's my fault for having long nails. It's so tight. It just gave me a wedgie from bending down. So I've recycled the top as a headband. You see, it doesn't go to a waist. Okay, this was hard to get into only because it had like long nails and this was like oh, button up. How do I feel about this play suit? I'm like looking at the photo of the model. Once again, she gets paid to model. I don't. It's not a bad play suit. It's just that when I bend over like this part is like digging up and the funny thing is this play suit is called you know what's up i know what's up it's the crotch of this play suit that's what's up it has pockets though so that's a good thing with the model it looked like it was very very fitted this is what it looks like on me it's just, it just more straight it's not i mean it's not bad i like to eat so it's fine but i kind of look like i'm going to fix your car too like i'll service that i will change your oil one, two, three, yeah, four. She's got four unbuttoned, so let's just see if we can get a similar silhouette. 
four unbuttoned, just like she did. It gives you an entirely different look, you know what I mean? When you have something so low. No, it's just kind of making me wider. It's not the button that's giving her more shape. It's probably because she's skinny. Do you like this fit? It's on home renovation. I look like I will renovate your kitchen. I will tear out that countertop and look really cute whilst I'm doing it. Maybe we can repurpose this into a belt. No. No? No. Fine, fine. It doesn't work. I'll keep it as a headband. I reckon they clipped it. We're going to catfish everyone. Alfred's styling me. Look at this. He's making it look more fitted. Does that look better? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks better. I'm like a petite girl, so I'm like only 5'2". Oh, the clip just popped. Oh, well, the model just looks freaking amazing in it and I look okay. I just can't do any like actual like big movements. If I put my hand up, there you go. I've got a camel toe. I have no glasses, but just pretend there's glasses there. Wow, her crotch is like all the way up. Like, it's like, it's like that. You're opening your leg more. Oh God, it's short. If I could fit it on screen entirely, I know it's short. So this is like, a mini dress. It's called the Penny Mini Dress in purple. I think they have lots of colors in this, so it must be a really popular style. I was on the fence with this one, but then I saw all the reviews and I think it was rated pretty high. People rated it 4.7 stars out of five. So I feel like this is a very popular style of dress. I honestly got it because I like the color. You know, it matches my purple hair. Need I say more? Okay guys, I look like i just turned 18 ready to hit the clubs yeah that's exactly what i look like i am ready for a night out to pick up young alfred find myself the tallest man in the club and latch onto him and trap his ass honestly it's not a bad dress i think it's like a really nice color the rouge kind of hides my belly a little bit too so i actually appreciate that because i think if it was like all sort of like you know like no rouging you can definitely see all the lumps and bumps more but because there's some gathering it kind of hides my belly you know what i mean my butt looks pretty good in this and i'm not wearing shapewear the material feels pretty good like it's lined so it's not see-through so that's really good it also feels like a quite like thick sort of material so it, it almost kind of holds it in a little bit and I'm not wearing a bra I'm just wearing nipple covers and because it's rouging here you don't really see any like nipples there like it's so sunny it's so sunny I need to block out the sun pose what do I do with my hands it's too crap oops she's just like how would I make this work for 30 year old Tina? I would probably wear a jacket on top of this to like, you know, make it look less like I'm going out clubbing. Do you like it Zen? This is what you should wear out to find yourself a man. This is the outfit you wear when you want to trap a boy, you know what I mean? If you want to lure some TikTok Instagram boys and just trap their ass, this is what you wear. We have another dress. This is the Noda mini dress. Feels a little bit thin, but it is a summery dress. This was another highly rated um, dress. Again, I think it had like 4.7 stars out of five. And I got this dress because it is like a longer dress. You can kind of see it's like a midi dress. I wish it was like silky or something because this one does kind of feel a bit sheer and cheap, but let's just see how it fits. Yeah, I can already see this one looks so much better. Can you adjust it? Yes, you can adjust the straps. That's really important for me because I'm short, so when you can adjust it, it just looks like a million times better. I really like this one. This one's so cute. Like the cut, the length, everything is just perfect on me. I can't complain about anything. Initially, I thought like the material was a bit too thin, but it's okay now. Like it's not see-through or anything and it is a dark color, so it's not gonna be a problem. Perfect for summer. It's just really comfortable as well. Like it gives me shape but it's not like hugging my belly area, like the areas that you know are a little bit bumpy. And then there's like a slit on one side and the length is pretty good on me. This is probably like more of like a true midi 
for my height. Up here, it kind of gathers the material, so it kind of makes a little bit of like a slight rouge here. So you can also adjust how open or closed you want this area. Honestly, this is like the best dress that I've gotten so far. Yes, take me on a date, Alfred, ASAP. Wouldn't be a try on haul if I didn't buy anything green, right? Oh, this feels very plasticky. Wow, it is. It smells like bacon. Something. This smells like bacon. I kid you not. It smells like bacon. Smell it. Ew. <laughs> it smells like biscuits, food, like shakes. The skirt. It blows my mind. I opened it and I got this whiff of like bacon. And then Alfred said it smells like shapes. And then Zen said it smells like dog food. So you guys can kind of picture what it smells like. So this is the D Vibes mini skirt. It actually um, it doesn't come in a set, but there's a matching blazer jacket, which I did buy as well. This is the jacket and the size eight or US four was sold out. So I, I settled for a smaller size. I think it'll be okay because it kind of looks big. So I think when I try it on, I think it should fit. Fingers crossed. Up close, you can actually see that it's got this like faux croc print design. It just looked really good on the model. My famous last words before I try it on. I should get t-shirts made. I swear it looked really good on the model. I just got it because I just like green. Let's just like, leave it at that. Okay, so there's a reason why I'm not wearing a top under here because I'm just emulating what the model is wearing. It's so stiff. Everything's just very... Hard. I swear I look way cool on her. How come I just look like I look like Gumby? Maybe she like softens it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Like she just needs to move. I need to relax it a bit. I'm trying to stand cool like her. Literally, this is the exact same pose she's doing. First things first. This room smells like bacon. Like I just. I'm just smelling bacon everywhere. Aside from the smell of this, I literally thought I would channel my inner cool girl vibes and like, you know, look somewhat like the model. But for some reason, this just looks so stiff on me. So I've just reconfigured this top to make it look similar to what the model is wearing. The skirt, I feel like the shape is just so boxy. I didn't picture it to be like kind of flare out this much or even like from the side. I don't know. It's just this A-line skirt and the material isn't helping because it's quite stiff. So I don't know. Maybe it just needs to soften up somehow. You <laughs> look pregnant from the side. I look like I'm smuggling something. You know, like it's a like, child. Yeah, I'm, I'm smuggling a child. I'm smizing. Okay, let's just talk about the jacket. Stiff. That's all I could say. One word to describe this jacket, stiff. I'm kind of sad because I really had high hopes for this set, you know? I, in my mind, sets always work because they're pre-planned out for you. And when I came across this green set, it was like, Oh, this one is a winner, but it's not. My technique on buying clothes just didn't work out with this one. I reckon if I wore it, like you know how cool people wear it on Instagram or like at those like fashion events and they just... No? Hard no? Or like a... Eh. Impractical. Impractical. If I wore it anywhere, anyone would be really like... Oh, it smells like bacon. A mini dress and it's like the scarf pattern. It's kind of like silky material. So this is called the Lucci mini dress. It looked good on the model, seriously, but now that I hold it up, I don't know if it's actually gonna give me any shape because it's quite like straight up and down, but in the photo, it looked more fitted. So we'll, we'll have to try it on and see. Okay, I think I am feeling myself in this silky number. It has that scarf print on it. It's a mini dress, but like, I don't think it's super, super short, especially on me. And it's one of those styles that don't really like hug you. It's not a bodycon. It's a bit more like loose. It's a bit more flowy. So I do like that. You can adjust these straps as well. I think this would look really good with like a black like leather jacket. You know what I mean? It gives you that like cool vibe. You can wear it with boots. 
There's also like a mini slit here. I think it kind of makes it a little bit more flowy around here as well. So when you're walking, it doesn't feel like constricted or restricted. This dress could be like a clubbing dress, but I feel like I can definitely pull this off still. I can like wear it with flats, I can wear it with sneakers, Put like jacket again on top to make it more cash. You know, I can kind of like style it differently, but it could be another like trap your man kind of dress you know what i mean i'm actually like quite happy with this dress i didn't have high hopes for it especially like when you look closely at the scarf pattern it could be a little bit tacky but i think like if you style it right it could look quite classy you gotta take me out so i can wear all this because i have nowhere to go can't go to the dog park looking like this okay oh my god i just felt the breeze <laughs> up my butt Oh no, it's really, really short, isn't it? It's definitely at the club. Haha. What do you do at the club? At the club, I'm like, hey, my name is Tina. <laughs> That's my move at the club. Isn't that how I got you, babe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was in a tie-dye mood and an orange one because this is my second tie-dye dress. This one is ribbed. The design is different to the other one. So I got this one because it has a cutout, but you know, like looking back at my other cutout decisions, it hasn't really worked out for me. So I don't have high hopes for this. Oh, now I know because you can see her belly button in this photo and I know how, how that works. Dude, this actually looks pretty good I, I i thought okay my concern was like oh my god here we go with the whole tree outfit and the exposed belly button again because of the cutout but it's okay like my belly button's like down here so it covers it it's a miracle guys for once a cut out dress has worked out for me i think it's because of the placement of this I don't know, it, it kind of makes me look even curvier. It makes it look like a two-piece, but then, you know, from the back, it's just solid there. Also, this tie-dye pattern isn't that bad. I'm not wearing Spanx or like shapewear, so this is what my body looks like in it. And I'm not mad, I actually think it's quite flattering for me. I'm guessing the model is not super tall because it kind of still looks a bit long on her and I don't know like in the photo you can see that her belly button's showing so maybe like she's pulled it down a lot more so I guess you can you know you can adjust how much cut out or how much belly you want to show with the length you can kind of see that there are slits on the side here on either side would anyone stand like this not really <laughs> I'm like Chung Lee the fit is actually fits like a glove i think that's what they mean right not that a glove would have this many cutouts and be tie-dye that'd be a really cool glove okay so we've come to the end of my princess polly haul out of the 11 pieces that i bought i was pretty happy with seven the rest were these ones i just need to size down for some stuff i just need to quit buying sets that are green because i don't think that's going to be a working formula every time this is my first time shopping with princess polly and i feel like it has been one of my better hauls considering most of the pieces feel a lot better quality than my previous ones that's it to this try on haul if you guys haven't seen my previous episodes i have like three other videos you guys should check out if you're new here don't forget to click subscribe so you get notified and you can see me in wonderful outfits like this all the time i can't let these outfits go to waste i need to use them to up my instagram game so follow me on instagram if you want to see me work and style these outfits especially this one i gotta make this work i spent too much money on it i guess that is it from me i shall speak to you guys next time bye really stiff wave i can do the robot in this because it's like so stiff yes it's so effective this is so good now i found my robot outfit